Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 38th episode of Let Your Voice Soar. I'm Jeff Alani Stanfield, your vocal coach here at Voice Soaring Studios. In this tutorial, we're going to focus on concepts and techniques to reduce neck tension while singing. This is a very important topic as neck tension is something that I've suffered with for decades due to some significant injuries I sustained in a horseback riding accident when I was competing as an equestrian show jumping rider in my late teens. Neck tension is also something I see a lot of in new students who come in for vocal lessons and much of this type of tension is caused by previous injuries, looking down at their devices for long periods of time, sitting at a desk or piano in a slouching position, working as a server in a restaurant and carrying a lot of heavy plates on one arm or a lack of understanding of how the breathing mechanism is designed to support the voice for singing. All of these situations, and there are many, many more, inhibit the neck from being free of tension. A tense neck causes the singer to lock the neck into place while singing, giving them a false sense of support. This false sense of support actually stops the airflow, making it difficult to transition registers, sing high notes freely, or access the belt register easily. The neck should be free enough to move the head side to side or up and down or any direction we need to communicate with the audience without disturbing the airflow or interrupting the resonance. So today I'm going to give you five moves to use while vocalizing to release that neck and make it a tension free passageway for your voice to be able to sing any song you wish to sing as freely as possible. Move number one, the side to side. This is a very simple movement that you're going to use while singing a vocal exercise that I'm going to show you in just a few minutes. Move number two, the up and down. Just like the side to side, this movement is very simple and requires that you move your head up and down while singing the scale. Move number three, the pullover. In this movement, you're going to pull your head over to one side while you're singing the scale and then you'll switch sides and do the same on the opposite side. Move number four, stretching the back of the neck. In this movement, you're going to use your index finger and your middle finger on both hands and place them underneath the base of your skull and stretch your neck long. You can also use your fingers to move your head side to side to get even more benefit out of this movement. There's an old saying in vocal pedagogy which goes, long back of the neck, short front of the neck for optimum singing. Movement number five, the neck grab. Now I know this sounds a little counterintuitive, but you're going to take your hand and grab all that muscle back there and hold it while you're singing the scale. Then you're going to switch sides to balance both sides of your neck. So the exercise we're going to be using today is from my Let Your Voice Soar vocal workout. Now, as I mentioned in the promotional video for this, this is available on all of the streaming platforms, Amazon Music, iTunes, Apple Music, Pandora, YouTube Music, Tidal Music, all of them. And it's free, and Spotify, and it's free to you if you have any of those streaming platforms. Now, in case you don't have any of the streaming platforms, you can always purchase it on iTunes, and it's only $9.99. This is how it's going to work. You're going to be hearing my wonderful student, Kaylee, as she demonstrates the exercise in the Let Your Voice Soar Vocal Workout. So, when she's singing, he, 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 then you'll sing afterwards and you'll move your head to the side. Or if you're pulling your head to the side. So the object is to keep that position throughout the entire exercise, okay? So let's get started. So remember, when you hear Kaylee singing, start with that first movement. I'm not going to be singing with you. Here we go, ready? Hey. 
head up and down. to the side. Two fingers under the base of the skull, stretch your neck long. <laughs> Grab your neck with your hand. Switch sides. Your turn. Great. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm sure that you're going to find that one of the five movements works very well for you and hopefully you'll be able to put all of them to good use. You can use these movements not just on vocal exercises, but also and most especially in a song that may be giving you difficulties. I use these movements extensively on the song Angel before I recorded it, as that song requires a lot of high belting. So getting my neck to release on the high notes was critical. Now, if you're looking for individualized one-on-one -on -one vocal coaching, I teach singers all over the world. It doesn't matter what time zone you're in, we'll find a time that works for you. I hope you will subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And please be sure to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and Twitter. Until next time, keep singing, love each other unconditionally with all of your heart, and let your voice soar. Let your voice soar, let it fly high, let it sing up to the sky. Let your voice soar.